Good day guys, um, here's another day and another video. Now today's is video is very 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 interesting all the way to the end. Please listen to it. It's only like less than 7 minutes short. I'm sorry about the noise at the background. Well, we're living in a noisy world. What can I say? Alright, so educate yourself. Mind only works through repetitions. I've been telling that and I've been learning that too throughout my life. Check this video out and it's in English and Chinese. I hope it may help. All right, cheers. Bye now. Honey, you good day. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, I'd like to continue um, a conversation that we had earlier with a woman with a blind daughter. Yes. And you spoke about um, themes. Yes. Then she had a theme. And so am I to understand that manifestation or believing passionately or having passion may not even uh, translate into anything if there is a theme that has not been finished. Well, in a sense, but that's part of the theme. In other words, allowing yourself to explore whatever may seem to be an obstacle is usually the theme, and exploring it fully is usually what allows you to turn the energy that was heretofore experienced as an obstacle into the energy of your passion. So it's all connected. It's all one thing, it's all one act. All of the themes that you chose to explore have the capability of being turned into the energy of passion. It's up to you to decide how to do that. Okay, so I've experienced Groundhog Day for about 10 years. Uh, we're just- You're talking about the idea of a repetitive exploration? Yeah, a such repetitive as. life. Yes, such as. Not, things not manifesting. Things not manifesting, first of all, it is well, not possible right. for nothing to not manifest. <laughs> there is that. always a manifestation. Right. So you obviously can manifest, yes? Yeah, yeah, I keep manifesting the same thing over and over. Oh, all right. And what does that teach you? Well... And what is that thing? I thought I... Would... What is that thing? Um, a continuous illness issue. Such as? Oh, I call it my mystery illness because nobody mystery can figure out... Mystery illness. Nobody can figure out what it is. Oh, all right. May I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little doctoring here and sure. do a little, well, probing, <laughs> if you don't mind. Please do. Oh, all right. Tap, 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 tap. Let's listen to that heart, shall we? Thump, 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 thump. The idea here is when you make, I'll use this word, an attempt to manifest something different, and it doesn't occur, or the same thing occurs, how do you feel? I personally feel like I f I'm failing because I believe in the law of attraction. Do you understand the law of attraction is really the question. Do you understand really how it works? Maybe not. I guess not. All right. Have you heard us talk about the idea of not basing how you feel on what happens outside you? Yes. You have? I know it from other sources as well. And yet? And yet I'm very connected to what doesn't happen. Exactly. So why should it surprise you that the same thing keeps happening to show you that you're constantly basing how you feel on what happens physically instead of simply deciding how you're going to feel regardless of what happens? Because deciding that you will feel joy no matter what happens, is the mark that you've actually changed. Right. Not whether it happens on the outside or not. Because if you still react to the outside with disappointment and frustration, then all you're actually doing is reinforcing the fact that you actually haven't changed, therefore why should the outside? Ah. You see, that's the paradox. If you still react to the idea that the outside hasn't changed, then you haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the outside can't because you haven't actually changed. The mark of true change is to behave differently even if the outside still looks the same. Right. Then you have really changed because you don't care what the outside looks like. You just decide what you're going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to feel. Because. Because why? Because. That's why. Because that's what you prefer. That's why. You don't need another reason. There is no other choice but to feel the way you prefer to feel regardless of what's going on around you. And when you do that, 
then you give the outside the true opportunity to reflect it to you. But if you have, if you keep bringing in the idea, the expectation that you're waiting for the outside to change, to reflect the change you say you've made on the inside, you haven't changed. Therefore, the outside won't. Okay. That's the circle you're creating. Yes. That's why it keeps repeating. Because you keep saying, I've changed, but then you keep peeking at the outside to see if that's true. Right. Instead of just saying, it's true. Regardless of what's going on, I am a joyful being, regardless of what's going on. Then you've changed. Then the outside can reflect it. Make sense? Absolutely. Do you feel you have the ability to truly just choose to be a vibration of your preference regardless of what's going on in your physical reality? The last two weeks I had a major aha. Seems like it was downloaded to me to do just that. And it's oh. been the hardest damn thing in my life. Congratulations. To just love and accept everything. But Congratulations. Really Remember, many of you have, over the course of years, called yourselves some kind of a kindergarten. You're not. Earth is a master class. So, you are strong for choosing to be on Earth to turn that much darkness and that much difficulty into light and effortlessness. Earth is a master university. It's not a kindergarten. So it's going to be challenging. That's all right because you are strong enough to handle it, that's why you chose to be on Earth. It's a master class. Never think less of yourselves. You are all graduating with a master's degree. Do you understand? Mm. So, it's all right if the homework is a little challenging. It's all right. You'll get through it. You'll figure it out. We have faith in you, but the question is, do I have faith? Thank you. All right. A plus. <laughs>